graph f of x on the given domain. So f of x is equal to four times the absolute value of x plus six minus eight. And the domain is x between negative eight, including negative eight, this bracket means that we're going to include this endpoint, and negative two. And we're going to include negative two, the bracket means we're going to include it. If we didn't want to include the endpoints, we would use parentheses. What are the coordinates of the vertex? So let's think about the vertex first. The vertex, you can kind of view it as the corner of an absolute value function. And so it's either going to be the maximum point or the minimum point of the function. Now over here, let's just think about it a little bit. When would this hit a maximum or a minimum point? Well, we know that the absolute value of something is always going to be non-negative. It could be zero. That's why I'm not saying that it could always be, it's always going to be positive. It's going to be non-negative. So we have something that's non-negative right over here. And then we're multiplying it times something that is positive. So this thing, the whole expression over here, non-negative times a positive, is always going to be non-negative. So it's either going to be zero or greater. So this thing is always going to be adding to the value of f of x. So the minimum value of f of x happens when this whole thing is zero, and then when this whole thing is zero, then f of x is negative eight. That is the minimum value. Any other, for any other x, at any other point, this thing is going to be larger than zero. So let's just think about when does this whole thing equal zero? Well, this whole thing is going to be equaling, is equaling zero if x plus six is equal to zero. And when does x plus six equal zero? Well, when x is equal to negative six. When x is negative six, then this whole thing is zero, and f of x is equal to negative eight. Negative eight. So that's the vertex, and that's going to be the minimum point. This is going to be an upward opening absolute value function. So now let's just draw it. And what we could do is we could put some points at the vertex. So let's put, let's put some points at, let's see, negative six, eight. Negative six, negative eight. Negative six, negative eight is right over there. Let me scroll down, make sure you can see that point. Negative six, negative eight is right over there. And I actually want to make you see the function definition as well. And let's just think about what it does at the boundaries. On either side, it's going to be a line. So when x is negative eight, what is, this, what is f of x? Negative eight plus six is negative two. Take the absolute value of that, that is going to be two times four is eight, minus eight is zero. So you have the point negative eight comma zero. And then let's think about what happens at the other boundary. When x is negative two, negative two plus six is four. The absolute value of four is four. Four times four is going to be 16 minus eight is eight. So it's going to be the point negative two, negative two, eight. And just like that, I think we're done. Yes, we are.